As factors shift supply and demand, we need to understand the effect on equilibrium price and quantity. Things can get pretty complicated, especially if both demand and supply are shifting at the same time. To keep things straight, there are four basic steps that we can follow to help us. Step number one, we need to draw the original demand and supply curves. This includes determining the original equilibrium. The original equilibrium is the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. Step number two, we need to determine if the factor is affecting supply or demand. In other words, which does the factor shift? Step number three, we need to determine which way the factor is shifting, supply or demand. To the right or to the left, up or down. Step number four, we need to identify the new equilibrium. This includes the new equi equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Let's take a look at a shift in the supply of tuna caused by the factor of weather. In this case, the weather was good, so that means it is easier to catch more tuna and the cost of production goes down with the desired profit remaining the same. The overall price decreases for every quantity supplied of tuna. Let's go through the four steps to determine the change in equilibrium price and quantity of tuna. First, we determine the original demand and supply curves. In this case, that is SO and DO, which tells us that the original equilibrium EO. The original equilibrium price is $3.25 and the original equilibrium quantity is 250. Next, we need to determine if the good weather is affecting supply or demand. Which does the factor shift? In this case, the factor is shifting supply. Now that we know that supply is being shifted, we need to determine in which way the supply is being shifted. In this case, the supply is being shifted to the right, or it's an increase in supply. After we determine this, we need to determine the new equilibrium, E1. In this case, the new equilibrium price is $2.50, which is a decrease from the old or original equilibrium price, and equilibrium quantity is 550, which is an increase from the original equilibrium quantity of 250. Now let's look at a shift in demand. This demand shift is the result of a change in taste from print news sources to digital news sources, resulting in a leftward shift in demand for print news sources. If you go through the four-step process, you see that the, the result is a decrease in both equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. Here we can see two forces working at the same time, shifting the supply of U.S. Post Office services and the demand for those services. A cost of living increase is the force shifting the supply from SO to S1, and a change in the preference of consumers for email instead of tra traditional mail is shifting the demand curve from DO to D1. As we combine the shift in supply and the shift in demand together in the same graph, we can see how the equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity change from EO, the original equilibrium, to E1 and E2, representing the equilibrium shifts to supply and demand respectfully. And then finally, E3, representing the new equilibrium resulting from the combined shifts. One important note, a shift in one curve never causes a shift in the other curve. Rather, a shift in one curve causes a movement along the second curve. In this graph, a shift in supply does cause a resulting change in quantity demanded along the demand curve, unless a separate force is simultaneously forcing the demand curve to shift. Then forces shifting supply should be limited to supply curve shifts only.